What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this quick video, I want to show you how to promote affiliate products on Bing without having your ads disapproved. Now, obviously, if you have a landing page that adheres to Bing's ads policies, you can definitely promote that and it won't be disapproved. But usually what happens is if you're direct linking, I know there's some people that do that, myself included, we direct link to an affiliate product and sometimes our offer gets disapproved because of the URL mismatch and stuff like that. So in this video, I want to show you how you can successfully promote direct link from Bing to an affiliate offer without having the ad disapproved, okay? So um, I have here these two offers, a max bounty offer and a ClickBank offer, both of which have been successfully running here. I've um, I, they're still running, but I've really decreased the budget uh, now, so hopefully uh, it won't incur as many costs. Uh, but originally, when I first set this up, you know, for testing purposes, it had quite a lot of hits and impressions, so you know that this was running. Um, so if you have a Click Magic account, right, uh, you have, you know, you put in your primary URL there. If you have a post back uh, URL, you would add the query string at the end so you can track the sales. You have your tracking link, right? Same thing here. Now, first thing I want to point out is that you don't need necessarily a custom domain to promote on Bing because no one will see that custom domain at all. The only reason why you may want to have a custom domain is if you want to use that domain to specifically have that show up at the top of the URL bar instead of something like this, for example. So if we look at this ClickBank product, uh, as you can see, it takes us to our tracking link and then redirects here. If you don't like this domain, pianoforall.com, then maybe you would want to get a custom domain so you can cloak, okay? Specifically for Bing. Other than that, you don't need a custom domain to promote on Bing. It is a good practice. It is great to have a custom domain. I have about 50 custom domains right now that I use for different purposes, but you don't need it for Bing. So that's the first point I want to mention. Second point I want to mention, if you do have a custom domain, you don't have to go into your domain register like Namecheap or GoDaddy. You don't have to redirect it to your affiliate offer. You don't need to do that. We do everything here within ClickMagic, okay? So that's point two that I want to mention. So if you're promoting on Bing, all you have to do for starters is have your affiliate link here in the primary URL and create a tracking link out of it. You can have a tracking link just clkmg.com. That is more than enough, okay? That's step one. That's all you have to do. You can add the query string for the postback URL so you can track your sales. You can do that, but that's all you need. Now, obviously, again, if you, if you uh, have a landing page, then you should have no problem promoting on Bing at all. You shouldn't even have to watch this video, hopefully. Uh, and then you can pass through postback URL in a different method, uh, which I described in one of my previous videos. So you can take a look at that. But let's assume you're direct linking on Bing. Now, here's what you do on Bing. Here's how you are able to promote this product. If you go here, notice how my final URL is not my affiliate link. So what happens is normally, maybe some of you, you put in this affiliate link into the final URL and of course your ad will get disapproved because it's nasty, it doesn't look right, there's a destination mismatch. Don't do that. All you have to do is click on this link, for example, let's take ClickBank, and copy that URL and put that into this Bing final URL spot, okay? Now you may be thinking, hey, but if I do that, I won't get credit for my sale. It's just the final URL. Well, guess what? If you have something in the tracking template as I have here for Max Bounty, if you put in your tracking link here in this tracking template, you will get credit. Because in the, the way clicks work with Bing is you can't test clicks here. So if I click this, notice it takes me straight to this website, but you can't test it this way. For Bing, the only way how you can actually test clicks is if you type in your search term in Bing search results um, or in Bing search network, and your ad comes up and you click on that ad. When someone does that, they actually click on your tracking link, not your final URL, okay? They actually click on your tracking link and therefore you do get the sale because your tracking link is linked to your primary URL, okay? So 
what you would have to do is you would need to add your tracking template in the tracking template field, or sorry, your tracking link in the tracking template field. So I didn't do that for ClickBank yet. So what I'm going to do is paste that there. Again, you don't even have to click test. Just don't bother clicking test. Sometimes it may come off saying uh, destination mismatch. Don't bother. Just don't, don't click test at all. Uh, keep it as is. It should be fine the way it is. Now, what I will do is if you watched one of my previous videos uh, where I mentioned how to track on Bing using the tracking template and their tokens, what you would add here is maybe something like this, keyword slash query string slash, you know, I like to say add ID because I like to see, hey, which ad contributed to my sale and which keyword so that I could spice those up, right? And I can remove the ones that are not doing well, remove them or pause them. And then you can click save. And that is it. That is all you have to do. So if you look at my stats for my max bounty, these, these are the clicks that I registered today when I ran those ads and then I paused it because I didn't want to actually run them. It was te for testing purposes. You will see all these sub IDs generated. So if I go, if I look here, this is my first sub ID. Uh, yeah, the first sub ID, which is the keyword token. And then after that is the query string token. And then after that, if you click on that little I, symbol it's the sub id3 which is the ad id and this tells me which ad contributed to those clicks and ultimately the sales so if i promote this product and i get get the sales then when i click here i will see the sales show up assuming you set up the post back url method correctly i've done it in my previous videos take a look up above i covered it in my click magic playlist so you should be able to do that uh, but that is pretty much it that is all you have to do so the main part here is for your final url put in the URL that the user actually lands on. Don't put in your affiliate link. You don't have to cloak your link. You do not have to cloak at all. This is the easy way to do it. It works, you know, for me, it's always worked, but I don't want to say 100% of the time because maybe there's some rare cases where it won't, but this is the way this has been working for me and I still haven't had an ad disapproved, you know, knock on wood, uh, using this, what I'm doing right now. There are a few things, though, you do have to check and make sure that you have uh, in order to make sure that this works as well. So there are a few settings that we'll quickly go through and make sure that you have the right settings. There are three places we're going to check. The first place we're going to check is at the campaign level. If we go to campaign, we select a campaign and we go to the settings for that campaign. If we scroll down to the bottom, it's going to say tracking template. Make sure you do not have a tracking template for the campaign. So if you have anything there, remove it. You have a tracking template for each individual ad level, that should be enough, okay? Uh, so just remove it there and just put the tracking template on the ad level, it's easier to manage. You don't forget if you wanna change things later on, just, just do that. And if you have many ads and you don't want to change all of them, look, you, you select all the ads, suppose I had 10 ads here, click edit, click on change URL options, Put in your tracking template right there. That's it. It'll change everything for all the ads. Okay. Simple as that. So that's the first thing. We need to check two more places to make sure none of the settings in our account conflict with this tracking that we have going on here, right? Because we want to see the stats show up in our ClickMagic account, right? Whatever tokens we want to use. And if you go into your ClickMagic FAQ and type in how to track PPC, just type that in, you will come upon a document. And FAQ, check that out. You'll see all the tokens that Bing has available, such as ad group ID, you know, query string, keyword, ad ID, campaign ID, campaign name, stuff like that, match type, device type. Okay, so just look at that. Um, so the other thing we have to check is we need to go to shared library, go to URL options, and make sure your auto tagging is turned off. Okay, so if you check mark this, what's going to happen is um, when someone clicks on your tracking link, um, Bing will automatically add a query string. It will say something like this to the end of your link. It will say and MS click ID equals, okay? That's what it's going to add. If they add that, your tracking template, this will not work. So you can use it if you're not using ClickMagic or any third-party tracking tool, you know, by all means use it. They have their own system to, you know, determine clicks and stuff like that. But if you are using ClickMagic and you're doing what I just showed you right now, using the tracking template, do not use that. Make sure it is checkmarked off, okay? So that's the second thing we have to check. 
Last but not least, one more thing we have to check before we know everything is working well is if you click on your account, click on accounts and billing. Now we have to select our account, which is this one, test account. And over here, make sure your auto tagging is turned off as well. So if it is, just click this little button there and make sure that this is checked off. Okay, you don't want it. So check it off. Okay. Other than that, everything should be working well and good to go. And you should be able to create ads for really any sort of product. Here I have a ClickBank product, a Max Bounty product, Peerfly, CGA Affiliate, JVZoo. Everything would be exactly the same. It would be the exact same way. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Again, you don't need to cloak. The one more thing I did want to mention is that sometimes when you land on a page, so let's take a look at this Forex call and offer. So if I click here, I'm taken to this page. Now, sometimes when you click on your affiliate link, well, actually, let me give you an exact example. Let's click on this link here, which takes us to the affiliate link. You see all these additional tabs here, and you're saying, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this domain name into my Bing ads final URL. That may work, that may not always work. So if I actually copy this and I paste it here, as you can see, it says page not found. So you have to do your due diligence and check the pages and make sure that they are working because in this case, that will not work. What will work is this part. So now if I take it and copy it here, this is what I can use in Bing Ads, okay? This is the final URL that people land on upon clicking on it. So that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to share with you. You should now be able to direct link and promote any products on Bing Ads, hopefully without them being disapproved unless the content of the page itself doesn't meet Bing's guidelines. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to let me know down below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how to's, etc. etc. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.